Hello, hello, hello. So today we're going to do a Dollar Tree gift basket. Um, I've been working on this for quite some time. Like I said, I like to shop there. Um, I like to shop for others there. Thankfully, I don't buy too, too much for myself because um, I'm trying not to hoard stuff. So again, as a gift, you know, it's the thought that counts. It was chosen with love and thought of the person. So um, this one <laughs> is kind of full. Cool. But it's my, uh, one of my friend's, uh, daughter, um, she was a co-worker at first and then of course became a friend and I met her daughter and her daughter is so sweet and cute and she, I just fell in love with her. I didn't have little girls, I had two little boys. So anyway, it's fun to buy for her. <laughs> so without further ado, uh, so she likes sloths and y'all, I found <laughs> so much. I know the sloth thing is just like crazy now, like the llama thing. Um, so anyway, we're going to go through it real quick and I'll kind of tell you a little bit about each item, but try to go, you know, make it quick as well. Um, so there's two little coin purses and I know she probably doesn't need to, but I thought she could choose the one that she likes the best and then maybe give one to a friend. Um, I want to say, just to be transparent, I want to say maybe, maybe this was at the dollar... Tree. I don't, one of these was at the Dollar Tree and one was at Dollar General. Um, so there may be a couple of items in here from Dollar General, uh, but the like 90% is from Dollar Tree. Um, so this, of course, you, you guys have probably all seen these, the little dancing. I just thought it was so cute. Maybe she could put it on her desk. Um, but anyway, I thought it was really cute. It dances in the solar is what I was trying to say, a solar dancer. Um, let's see. And of course old school I just thought I don't know if she's tried those but uh, those were old school when we were little and they're kind of coming back so I thought oh, I'll throw that in there and so cute y'all look this is a phone stand um, I had showed you one the other day so this one's a little bit different I hope it still works um, I was thinking even if the phone stand doesn't work because I'm not sure how sturdy it is it's really cute she could hang it up somewhere or display it if she wants to uh, let's see. This I just thought was really cute. No bad days. Just a little notebook. Um, actually, no, it's not a notebook. <laughs> it's actually a calendar. <laughs> so, um, I know she does some events with school and stuff, so she can write in that. And there's just so much in here, y'all. <laughs> I, like, stuff this thing cool. Um, so this is not sloth, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Uh, it's lavender aroma guru just kind of like um, you can roll it on your wrist or like um, it's just like a you know aromatherapy um, I have bought her mom one that was peppermint and she said it was good so I thought well I'll do lavender something relaxing after maybe a crazy day at school uh, this is just kind of something fun that she could do making friendship bracelets um, this one I think this was at the dollar yeah, this is from Dollar Tree too. All of this is from Dollar Tree so far, unless I tell you otherwise that I remember I got it somewhere else. Um, so I got these. What kid doesn't like candy? They're sloths, y'all. They're so cute. I don't know if I can show it. Yeah, it's kind of... Eh. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks like a starfish, but it's supposed to be a sloth. Um, but anyway, they're in the shape of sloth. Uh, this I just thought was something cute. My frame of mind today. And it has different, um, it says silly, sassy, awkward over it. It comes with little pegs and a little, it's like a picture frame stand. And then you put the pegs like, how you're feeling today. Aggravated, grumpy, amazing. I just thought it'd be something nice, cute for her and her mom. Uh, this again, this doesn't have... Uh, sloth but it's just a a little stand and I thought maybe or sorry a mirror <laughs> but she could use it as something to place something on or she can hang it up as a mirror obviously these aren't that great um, because they're Dollar Tree but they're nice decorative mirrors and they're also good to like you can put a candle on or you can put something else on which brings us to <laughs> I don't even really care for the sloth thing y'all but this is so cute look at this So cute um it's just a little faux plant this was Dollar Tree as well I was so amazed when I saw it I'm like this is like heavy like 
play. Like, this is really cute. And so I thought maybe, you know, she could display it like that. I don't know. Maybe she'll like it. So there's that. I'm going to put that back in here. I, t I took a picture of how this was, so hopefully I can get it all back in here. Uh, this I thought was really cute. It has a little sloth. I'm just going to have way too much sloth stuff now. <laughs> But like I said, I'm okay with her just feeling the love and passing it on to someone else if she needs to, if it's not something she wants. This is also just kind of a throwback. I saw it and I thought it was cute. And I'm like, oh, I remember when I used to really like those. But, you know, it was something cool and fun at the time. I don't know if y'all have seen these at Dollar Tree, these poppers. Um, I actually bought one for myself. <laughs> it's kind of like a stress reliever, anxiety reliever. And you, like, press them through. And then when you press them back through, it's like a popper. It kind of, they say it's kind of like popping bubble wrap. I think this is not as good as bubble wrap. Um, but it is kind of fun and like stress relieving. I guess like a stress ball or something, but different. Um, let's see. And then socks. They had so many socks. These are Beverly Hills Polo Club socks. I just thought they were so cute. I love hearts, but I got it for her because of the sloths. <laughs> And then just plain ones on the back. And then this one, I just thought it was cute. I guess that's like the donut trend now. And then I think she used to like unicorns too. So I saw that, thought of her, and I grabbed it. And again, these are two pairs of socks for a dollar, y'all. This is all Dollar Tree. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. Um, and then again, this is so cute. It has hearts, but I'm not that into sloth. So they're really long socks. So... All right, and then I got her a little uh, pink thing of Dove body cream. I've heard a lot of uh, people who say these are really good. I don't really want to open it. I think it does have a cover. Yeah, it has a cover on it. But it does smell. It smells nice, like very light, but nice. Oh, I thought I was almost done, but I have this little bag. <laughs> so I have this little bag good vibes and everything was falling out it wouldn't fit so I had to like stuff stuff in here so <laughs> I thought this is gonna be like four minutes this is like taking forever so I just got these cute little um hair bands I know she's like her mom she's a gerbophobe so I got her some hand sanitizer and it has the little thing she can like hook on her backpack I thought these were really cute so this is for um to hold the nail polish so you don't spill it while you're doing your nails I have one that's Similar to this, but this looks like it's even better the way that it holds down at the bottom. So we'll see. And then just as, you know, kind of something fun, I got two different colors of the nail polish. Again, all this is still Dollar Tree. This was from Dollar General. I just thought it was so cute, y'all. It's a light, and it makes noise. Let's see. I don't know. It sounds more like a, what does that sound like? I don't know, a lion or something? I don't know. But I just thought it was cute. It's a little keychain. Um, again, maybe she can hang it off, off her backpack or something. So there's all that. I'm going to throw this back in. I have about three more items. I want to remember what was in here. So again, I took a picture and hopefully I can rebuild it the way it was because it looked really cute and it took me a little while to get it like that. So again, this is like a lot of stuff. Obviously, if you're doing a basket, you don't have to do <laughs> this much stuff. Like 10 or 15 items would have been good, but I just, I had so much fun shopping for it. And I was like, I think she'll appreciate it. So this, <laughs> this is so cute. This is Dollar General, not Dollar Tree, but I thought it was so cute. It's a little rocking chair. The rocking chair was separate and this was separate. And I think he was holding something because it looks like it might have been broken off. But it was still so cute. I couldn't pass it up. I'm like, oh my gosh, this it's so cute. <laughs> so hopefully she'll find something that she likes out of here. And um, I don't think I've mentioned on this channel yet, but I do like doing um, perler bead art. Um, so if you haven't heard of that, it's these beads that you place them in a design on this tray, and then you iron them, and then they, st they stick together. It's just kind of something fun and stress relieving, um, so I may be doing some videos of that. I'm not sure how because it takes a lot of time, so I would have to learn how to do the time, like speed up the time, which I haven't learned yet. But anyway, I made this for her. I thought it was really cute. Um, it's just something you can display on your, you know, on your desk or something. 
Um, oh, that's right, I forgot. I actually was gonna see if I could get like a little frame and I forgot. Like you could even like put it in, you know, some kind of little frame or something. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. Um, but y'all comment below and let me know what you thought. If you like the idea, if you don't like the idea, if you saw something you really liked. Is there a sloth emoji? If there's a sloth emoji, leave that in the comments if you made it this far. If not, maybe like a monkey. I don't know. I don't use emojis that much. I use like the same 10 that are in that little like catch and then I don't bother with There's too many. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got some ideas on a gift basket that you can make um, for a friend or a loved one. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a beautifully blessed day.